All right, Nira power ranking. We said we were gonna do this on NetSurfer Pro and we're doing it. Yep. We're doing it now. Doing it live. We're doing it, bro. Except it's not live, it's recorded. We're so, making it happen. First, let me explain. We have every Nira uh, from every Izutamaya music video, including some like side Niras, like the ones that aren't the main character, like uh, all the ones from uh, NECA Resetter and from Study Me, you know, all, all of them really. The first appearance though. So if there's a character that appears in multiple music videos, then it's not uh, strictly repeated. I wanna set a baseline here of normal girl. <laughs> normal girl tier is normal girl with like no, no abilities. Like the DNA one, Actually, she might be a bit higher. She breaks that computer screen. That is true. I've never, I've never seen a normal girl break a computer screen. I've okay. only seen, I've only seen uh, really strong girls. Do okay. That. Well, maybe we need like a uh, convenience store clerk. Yeah. Yeah. Nurse probably in normal girl tier. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like yeah, normal girl is a really good tier for like. You know, just, we don't see them do anything particularly exceptional, and we don't have any reason to believe that, like, yeah. they have anything that, like, a normal human couldn't just, like, Engineer, do yeah, in their day-to-day -day life. Uh, probably the one from Cracker? That's the one that eats, right? No, she's the, yeah, she eats, and then she also takes pictures. Right, yeah. Yeah. Byoshin Okamu, bite the, bite the second hand -o. Probably also normal girl tier? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Right. okay. I think that's a good I think that's a good ranking. Uh okay. Let's go let's let's pause normal girl for a second. Let's go one step up though. Okay. So yeah. we've got breaking a computer screen. Right. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Oh wait, hold on. I forgot. Garbage tier, we gotta put the Undertale near <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> gets killed completely is a level one monster. <laughs> so yeah, slightly stronger than average human. Here's here's sort of a thing I wanna bring up for Stay Foolish. Is it with or without scissor control? Cause it's implied at the end that she has like some control over the giant JPEG scissors. Yeah. I could have made two separate versions of this character, but I wasn't sure. Uh, cause yeah, part of it seems to be like character growth essentially. Right. Uh, okay, here's what I would contend. If we are going, because there is clearly one Nira that is like very, very strong that comes out of another Nira. Yeah. So if we are contending that like the, the latest version of Nira is like the one, I would say that she has some sort of control. She would probably go in B tier. I'm not sure about A tier. Maybe. I'll put her in A tier for yeah. now. Actually, yeah. I think A tier is good because A tier is like, that's something like, you know, outside of the realms of like normal possibilities. Right. I wanted to put Traffic Worker in B because she hits a bomb with a baseball bat, but that's, that's about true. all that her, her feats include. I, I think in the similar vein, so are we including techno technology granted abilities with the rest of the power ranking? I, so I would say yes. Okay. I would say yes, because like if we're going with without technology, a lot of Nira's would ultimately be probably not like that great. Yeah. Cause like a lot of these are normal girls who happen to have a lot of good technology. Right, yeah. And in a similar vein, what about defensive feats? Cause I want to bring up Reporter and how obviously she's quick on her feet, she has a hoverboard, but one of her biggest feats is surviving a giant explosion and falling into like an empty building. Oh, that's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah. Like, similarly, uh, Pokemon Nira gets crushed by a giant foot <laughs> and seemingly survives. Hmm. Maybe. Okay. I would say Pokemon Nira uh, B tier. I think that is okay. enough to get you in B tier. Yeah. I don't know if it's enough to get you in A tier. I would say that Reporter Nira, I think Reporter Nira is A tier. Right. With the hover camera combined. Yeah. Yeah, the hover camera alone would be B tier, but we see we see her survive a lot of really really intense situations. Yeah, actually, we should probably put uh, delivery in normal girl. Yeah. Now that I think about it, delivery delivery I think is part of the Nira conspiracy that seems to be going <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah, season the two. Nira conspiracy. <laughs> but like, until we see delivery girl do anything other than ride a bike, mm -hmm. we we have to put her in normal girl. 
Right. Uh, conspiracy, by the way. Sure. Kind of doesn't sound right. <laughs> um, okay, here's here's a hot take. This one goes in B tier. That's humanoid. Uh, is that video game Nira? Yeah. Yeah. This like, is the her, one who is in the video game. Yes. She can shoot a gun. Yeah, no, that that's fair. She that's spit fair. the soda out. <laughs> she does a spit take. That is that is a, a, a refined skill, is doing a good spit take. Yeah. Trust me, it's not easy to do it just off the cuff. Milabo Nira. She survives getting smacked around by, like, the evil Uniguri demon, but she doesn't yeah. do much else. Yeah. Yeah. I Yeah, I think that's a good B tier. B tier... Uh, uh, we need a name for B tier. I think B tier is like Hardy Girl. Hardy Girl. <laughs> like the Hardy Boys? Sure. I, I feel like DNA is like on the lowest end of, of B tier here. Yeah. K- Near a cat? Probably normal girl? Yeah, we see her We see her running with, uh, with the toast in mouth. She's mm-hmm. a cat. But I don't think we've seen her do anything else, really. Right. Swimmer Nira is, I think, a solid high B as well. She bites a shark fin, but does not damage it necessarily. Yeah. That's, I think, a pretty good one. Ham Nira develops a cure for something? I feel like that's at least high B. Yeah, yeah. That's that's like a skill. Yeah, that's a that's a skilled Nira. Yeah, you know, I, I want to I want to also reiterate like we see her develop a cure, so like she gets into Hardy Girl tier, but like we don't see like Engineer Nira do anything particularly exceptional. So we're good, we're keeping her in like normal girl, right? You know, same with like uh, uh, Nurse Nira, because like you know, being an engineer or a nurse takes years of skills, but we don't see them do anything like more exceptional than just look like they are doing those things right yeah nira china which is her official name normally i would put her in like b however the uh the like miso soup uh advertisement (laughs) crossover i think puts her in a tier at least yeah her ability to fight a giant evil miso soup cup yeah, she's able to take the color from a miso soup cup and then become part of the miso soup cup. Mm-hmm. That's I, very powerful. I think she's a little bit, yeah, she's lower on A tier because we don't see her do that in her her official debut. But that is, yeah, she she is definitely A, a tier. Yeah. Hot take. Mid B tier for Dark and Mira. Nira. Wow, that is a hot Here, take. Here's the thing. She's good with a gun. She take care of baby. But she dies to like a like a, a triangle pooping out a rocket. She is she is one of the only Neras to canonically die in her music video. You know what? That's a good point. That's a good point. She does have a confirmed death switch that does get switched in the video. I say her own music video because technically like most of them die at the end of Kansai Day. Yeah. Uh, speaking of which, do we want to go ahead and play? Sure. Her? Okay. I think we need to put this in God tier. Yeah. Now God-tier. here's the thing. God tier could take almost any of the others in a fight. That's that's part one. Kansaiti Nira actually, like, does this. She she ruins the lives of other Niras. Yeah. So that's worth something. Yeah. Like, she she multiverse travels with, with sunglasses to kill the other Niras. And she doesn't kill a lot of them directly, of course. She, but, like, she orchestrates their downfall. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. worth, I think that is worth God tier. Right. Uh, uh, obvi- other obvious God tier, Inside Joke, turns into a giant alien monster and, like, escapes Earth. Yeah. Is able to fly through space. That's pretty powerful. Y- you know what? Speaking of speaking of flying, let's put Furry near at A tier. Yeah. So, originally I was like, oh, she, she, she is just, like, a furry. She flies. I guess that's cool. B tier. But... Upon rewatching one's mind and noticing that she created a lot of the blasts in the architecture around her, that's definitely A tier material. Yeah, high A tier. A tierial. Uh, Hunch Gray, A tier as well. Yep, yep. She, she doesn't have survivability feats, but she has technological feats, and she infiltrates the Hybon Electronic skyscraper. Yeah, she, she successfully saves uh, uh, Gray. And yeah. like that's that's definitely worth it. She's one of like two with a driver's license. <laughs> and one of two with a Game Boy. 
the other one being right here. We're, we're starting to get to some of the trickier ones. Bread Nira, I think is normal girl. One of the only ones to not, it really, <laughs> she's so mysterious. She really is. She doesn't appear in the intro of NECA Resetter. She's just in the bread section. Who uh, is she? <laughs> I I want to put her, you know what? I, I want to argue that running your own business puts you at the very least low and low end hardy girl. Okay. She's a bit better than DNA. Yeah. Who uh who eats, break a TV. eats the food. Yeah, and break the TV and lie. Um can't be right, I'm unsure. She's like a hitman. So I want to say low A, maybe a little higher than Nira China. Yeah. We don't see her do many hits and she kind of gets stopped by the the guy with the shovel. By, yeah, she gets stopped by uh, the Black Mage from Final Fantasy. I think her main uh, her main feat is that she is one of the few music videos that's still blocked in America. <laughs> <laughs> Which, that's worth something. Also, she got the Smash invite. We can't forget that. That's true. Right. Okay, I have a hot take here. Ooh. She survives a lightning strike. Ooh, that's a good point. And it's sort of assumed that she now has lightning energy to fill the satellite. That's it's a, not sure oh, how much shit. is remaining with her, but she is like a conduit for electricity and she survived that. You know what? I, I like that. I will. I do also think that low god tier because we don't see her actively use those powers. Right. But yeah, like you said, if defense is being taken into consideration, definitely god tier. Lightning strike is is a is a big. Yeah. Well, okay. I will say though, like lightning powers, little questionable, and real humans can survive lightning strikes. Sure. I would. I would say. Uh, I'll, I'll keep her low gods here. I won't argue argue her down to high A tier. Sure. Okay. Now we're getting into the uh, the is it Kawasemi? Is that the artist? I think piano is normal girl. The one from Justice probably also normal girl. Yeah, they're, they don't they're do much. They're just kind of sad girls, which you know it's fine to just be a sad girl. But when you're contending with uh, an entire multiverse of people who can you know, who can kill all alternate versions of yourself or survive lightning blasts or break a TV. Or become a furry. Or become a furry. Yeah. Or bite a shark. <laughs> yeah. But on the other hand, fastening or something bolt, toketsu bolt, uh, that's high A tier because she, she fights for one thing. She actually fights. She actually kills. Yeah, yeah. Even though she killed Stampad, may he rest in peace. Uh, unfortunately, morality is not taken into consideration in this alignment chart. Yeah, but she does have, like, a doppelganger that seemingly cooperates with her. Yeah, she has a shadow fighter. Yeah, she is, She is like, uh, Eddie from Guilty Gear. Eddie <laughs> and Zato. Just, like, you cannot, you, you will be in block stun forever. Okay, okay. I think we need to do the obvious one. Highest A tier. <laughs> This one? Or for, highest god tier, Yeah, sorry. She is, like, actual planet buster. Like, actual confirmed planet buster. Yeah. Like, she canonically blew up a planet. Yeah, I, I like, the, the, the multiverse traveling Nira, she does, in fact, kill this one by proxy. But I think, like, you know, if, if we're talking, like, one-on-one -on -one fight, literally destroying a planet, you're the highest A tier. Yeah. The only one who maybe comes close is Inside Joke. Yeah. But it's hard to say. Okay, we've got some tricky ones left. Uh, Dear Mr. F, this is the one that has an arrow stuck in her for, like, most of the video. Yeah, uh, do, cause, yeah, she has an, her, her powers is she has an arrow stuck in her, and she dies. <laughs> no, she lives. Oh, Grey right. dies. Oh, God, right, yeah, sorry. I would say... Just because of having an arrow stuck in her, she's in Hardy Girl tier, but I don't think she goes much higher than that. Maybe like, maybe like right here, right there maybe, the other like high defense stats. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Living um, with an arrow stuck in use. Yeah. Okay. I used to be a nearly like you, then I got an arrow to the chest. Okay, such a disturbance. This one has been bothering me. I don't know how to rank her. So she uses a sword and a shield, but... The sword is only for, like, the first fight, and then she uses the shield against the fire enemy, but can't beat the fire enemy, and that's why Uniguri sacrifices himself. Yeah. Hmm. So it's hard to say. Part of me wants to say, like, the lowest A tier, because she puts up a fight, 
but also part of me wants to say like maybe mid or high hardy girl. I I think that participating in the fight makes her A. Okay. Like I, I think that yeah. I think yeah. that like you know, uh video game Nerda is in there and she doesn't even really shoot the gun. She just has a gun. Yeah. You know? She looks back and forth with the gun. She's covering her sight lines. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say that yeah, A tier, pro- definitely lower end A tier. Yeah. Okay. The the shady like conspiracy uh, Nira, <laughs> the bomber, bomber Nira, bomber Nira, bomber Nira, bomber Nira. This is hard to say because she has seemingly some social power, right? Yeah. She's like the one behind the conspiracy. Also, she can create a portal to another universe. We we have to remember that. Yeah, yeah. The very do, ending of Neko Resetter. We do have. Also, we need a name for A tier and uh, right. Uh, Strong. <laughs> Strong. Yep. Good. Um, yeah. Going through the multiverse is like a lot of what gave uh, uh, Kansaite. Yeah. Yeah. Her power. So, like, I don't know if I want to say God tier, because, like, she's definitely part of a big conspiracy. She has bombs. She does have bombs. I would... But she only really destroys buildings. Okay, how about this? We we swap... We do this. So we put Quilt in high strong for her survivability and perhaps lightning, but hard to say. But Bomber Nira goes in end of God tier instead. That's fair. I think that's fair. That's fair. Okay. Then, uh, here's, here's something... Meta tier <laughs> animator. Yep. The and... animator of all the animations. <laughs> yeah, animator. Yeah. She is clearly the one is the most powerful because she's the only one that is real. Yeah, she <laughs> she 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 has the incredible power of being 2D girl in real life. Yes. That's that's honestly more powerful than uh having a pipe and wearing glasses <laughs> yeah she she is by by technical rights stronger than everyone because she could definitely she could animate a, a short where she kills <laughs> kills planet nina yeah but like we don't know that's not exactly like you know playing by the rules yeah exactly but but that's why she's in meta tier she is like a it's like dr manhattan yeah, it is February 28th, 2022. A new Zutomaya video is going to drop. Did you hear Unikuni die of Lima? Who's <laughs> <laughs> Unikuni? <laughs>